this video lecture i'm going to discuss what how to use obs for recording or streaming so or to download the obs studio in google search box right there obs studio after that you can get this site so click the site then here i'm using the windows 11 operating system so clicking on the windows then after you can see here or uh, the file executor file that's come there and the size of the file 117 mb so it's uh, currently it's uh, downloading after waiting few minute times here you can see obs studio this is the current version executor file that downloaded after that you need to click on this file there after here you can see the installation wizard that come click on next 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 so currently it's so installing and this is the version 29.02 and uh, today is 4 for 2023 so here it can be changed the version can be changed but installation steps almost same now you can see icon created after that click on this finish so here after it will uh, launch now here you can see auto configuration wizard that's come there so here this is for uh, streaming recording is secondary this is for record streaming that means so if you are using twitch or youtube so you can go for this one and this is here or uh, second is for recording uh, streaming later and the uh, virtual camera so this i'm going to select for so this there i'm going to do the recording and uh, uh, if I want then I can do the streaming also after that click next then you can see use current so this is here use current 1920 into 1080 so in your system it can be different after that here frame per second so this is now if you are using if you are doing a record for gaming so it uh, here the screen size should be uh, smoother so you can select here or uh, 60 or here i'm going to do for recording so selecting this here 30 only after that click next and this is all here or uh, details about all this and now you can see here desktop audio desktop mix that's come there after that here let's go on the tools and here you can also get the auto configuration if you want to do any modification from this place you can also do that now the next uh, here after the next is here let's go on the file then you can go on the settings so this place here you can see output so if you want then you can change here output mode on the advanced and here you can check the audio track this all those things here you can set the hotkeys and this is here for audio if you want then you can do this so i'm not going to do anything let's click on close and after the next is so here let's so do some adding on the display so display is so currently it's nothing or displaying here so going on clicking on the plus and first step is we need to add the display so click on or display capture and if you want then you can show here give any meaningful name so i'm not going to do or i'm not going to give any name so now you can see it's come there and after that here click on ok so this is your display capture now if i'm moving the mouse anywhere then it's capturing now the next uh, here let's click on this plus then after you need to add the audio audio is uh, required so first uh, here audio is now audio in input capture so this place audio input capture you can give any meaningful name so i'm giving here the name is mic mic so here you can see mic it's uh, there and after that here you can see device so here i'm using the microsoft array realtek so selecting this options in your system it can be different but uh, let's let's click on ok so next uh, here click on input to done then you need to click on auto output capture so click there and this uh, place you need to give the meaningful name so let's give your desktop because here this already uh, is there so thereafter here device then let's use here headphone realistic it can be different in your systems after that the next is click on ok so now this uh, two desktop audio on mac this tools are comes there 
So after that, to the next uh, here, I'm going to select this tools and right click. Then uh, thereafter, you can see here group selected item. So you need to click on the group selected item. And this place, you let's uh, give here the name is group selected item, giving the name is audio. Audio. Now the next is click right click on the mic. Then after go on this uh, filter and there you need to add some uh, some audio filter. So click on this plus then you can see here first is compressor. So first is compressor no need to change and the next that I'm going to add or gain no need to change the name and uh, another is now limiter. and thereafter click on this plus once again and there is the noise gate so let's go on this compressor so or uh, this place you no need to change anything and thereafter gain so again also no need to change anything this is uh, zero decibel if you want uh, then you can decrease also and this is your limiter so limiter is now here you need to put this uh, uh, minus three decibel so this place give you minus 3 uh, dB and it is 60 ms that's fine then after noise get you no need to change anything so after uh, doing this one now let's click on this close and then after it's all done now you can do some recording and uh, make the videos so for uh, recording uh, you need to click uh, this uh, start recording so currently it's uh, recording here okay this is uh, recording now I'm going to stop this one so when I click on this stop so it can be a stop so this is just I recorded here now let's uh, play and check start recording so can it so uh, recording here okay this is the uh, record so this is how we can uh, this is how we can use OBS for recording and for sound setting in Windows 11 operating system. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.